My little happy heart is so excited to sleep in this and have And we're we're doing this for you guys too, so room for rent. <laughs> Not really. I show our cowbell. Look how I hung the cowbell. So She's got that perfect. Now. Jennifer lied to me, told me it's not real. <laughs> yeah, the sign over here that that even you can change it. We'll get a mullet. What would a bear then do? We'll be dead. <laughs> we we'll goners. Gone. I would have wore a better shoe had I known. Let's I can subscribe and hit that bell button. Turn your notesies on is what he's telling you. Yeah, that's it. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Friday. We are, while you're watching this. We're out of times, what we are. <laughs> it's over. It's over. This will be the last video that you see of Dick Banjo before we go to the Rat Stock Rat Rob Maz Magazine build off in Langley, Illinois. So yeah. the next video you see after this one will be Rod Run, and then we'll be in Illinois. So we're going to do a walk around show you every detail, tell you everything about it, and give you a final rundown of our budget, which we are proud to say we are, as long as the perceived value is the same, a thousand dollars under budget. We'll hit you that. We'll hit you with the numbers here in a little bit. We yeah. don't want to bore you with that right off the bat. Uh, the, the object of the game was maximize your budget, build what you can build, be as safe as you can, use your creativity. I feel like uh, I reread the rules today. I feel like we maximized our efforts. Uh, it was a lot of help from her. I just kind of turned the designing of the lettering and all the artwork and the whole inside over to her, which was very nice for me. I was able just to focus on fab work. I'd come in, she'd be either editing videos or sewing seat covers. She made the backs. It's all a team effort. We're going to start from the beginning. Everybody chirps about budget. I'm going to tell you, that I built this, this is this, the numbers we're going to give you at the end ain't even real. Yeah. Because I built it for less than that. I'm putting money in for a motor that I had for free. Right. And I'm going to put money in for my wheels and tires, even though it's not in the budget. We haven't included that yet. I'm going to show you what we mean. Let's go to the front. Keep watching. She's going to get her minutes. She's going to show you what she did. We'll open the doors. We'll open the tailgate. This is going to be long-winded. It is. No fab work in this one. This is from tip to tail. We're going to show you everything we did, and we want you to ride along. And everyone who supported us, this has been an unreal journey. As far as I know, he's, we're over – this thing has been viewed over four or five million times on all different formats. It's hard to – Figure that up. It's crazy. One build has been seen that many One times. One gas pedal has been seen over 4 million times with an old dirty shoe. I would have wore a better shoe had I known. <laughs> Let's go to the front. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to flip it around and show you guys what he's got. All right, so when we bought the truck off a guy local here, it was honestly just four or five miles away. He had it for a while. We gave him $700. And we got the cab, the doors, the bed, uh, the bedsides. He gave us everything he had, didn't he? And uh, he gave us the frame, and uh, the frame was cut in pieces. He had no intentions of using the frame, but I liked the way the frame was curved. So I filled the stock frame full of channel 2x4 steel, boxed it, plated it. The frame is fully boxed, plated, z everything. Everyone's seen it on our builds. I wanted to use a free Cummins I had, but I knew that that would hit me in the budget. So... If you follow along our page, we have a lot of vehicles. This was in our big flatbed blue Chevy. It was a run and driving. I got this engine for three years ago of a motor home, and I kind of had it in a few different things. I got it for free. Remember that. The front axle, a friend of mine, Cody Sullivan, had it over in Indiana. Me and my son, we went over and got it. We took a set of wheels that were chrome like this, 14 wides. I won 400 for the wheels. He won 200 for the axle. Cody actually gave me $200 and this front axle. We'll get to that when we hit the numbers. What we have here is a Chevy four-wheel drive front leaf spring. I measured it. It seemed to be the same. We stuck it in there, made a crossbar, made shackles, brackets. Uh, <clears throat> instead of leaf springs, I just used quarter-inch two-by-two steel with a giant heim joint. Uh, we need... I forgot the Heim joint. I paid $100 for those two Heim joints. Okay, we need to add that in. Yeah. Everything else is as you see it. If I didn't build it from 50 cent 
on the pound steel. We have new brake calipers, we have new brake pads, we have new brake lines, because you'd be a fool not to. Alright, so motor we got, a few things we forgot while we was inside. I did buy the grill and the headlights, I got like $150 in those. Um, just rat rod and stuff. Um, the motor, as I pulled out of my truck, it already had power steering, already had the alternator. Uh, they say you can use the barter system. I mean, I, I, I got that motor for free, but we're going to include it in there. I, I don't want to say that over and over. The fuel regulator and the fuel lines, the reason they're shiny, I took those off the big truck. Uh, shouldn't go against budget. I used a Chevy steering box off the truck that sat out here, broke in half. Uh, I stripped the broken half truck just to get that steering box off of it. Basically, we have steering that is just flipped. It used to go this way, now it goes that way. Works the same. $300 Speedway headers. Hydro boost system off a motorhome we stripped on one of our videos. I did buy a $60 master cylinder. And Captain Jennifer, as we couldn't get it to bleed, she realized that the pedal that I had built wasn't going far enough. So props to her on that. Takes a team. I would have never figured that out trying to suck it out. All homemade quarter inch steel brackets for the Hydra Boost, the pedal, the clutch is right here, the rod, the adjustment. Stock square body stuff, square body box, square body clutch linkage. I made this stuff. Um, supposedly hardware and safety is not in the budget. New uh, proportioning valve, all new lines. I just used some electrical conduit on the headlights. The reason the headlights are out is because they're wobbling. We're working on that. But I have $7 12 volt headlights that go in there and they do work. A buddy of mine, Eric Hildebrandt, owns a glass service. I made the frame. You'll see that in our videos. Uh, he's working on it right now. $200 for a new flat glass sealed in there. He's almost got it done. I dropped it off at like 1 o'clock. Here's Sammy. So. That pretty much covers everything up here. I really didn't, the only money I spent was on the headers. We did put a $300 clutch in it, Summit, flywheel, small clutch. I want to get a mullet. Huh? I want to get a mullet. You want to get a mullet? I don't want to No, we're just talking. Uh, mirrors that came off motorhome I stripped. Doors came with the truck. I made my own hinges. Looks good, don't it? Uh, I used hardware, the hardware theme, strap. Pipe, nuts, bolts, welded. I got pennies in that. I bought bear claw latches, so we do have an element of safety. <clears throat> I cut out the strike. I cut out the door jam and welded in the big striker they send. All custom made steering column. I just bought Heim joints. We'll throw a little bit of that in the budget. I had a tack laying around, just like all you probably do. I had a radio laying around from a razor I owned five years ago. Tractor seats we had laying around. Uh, Jennifer made the, I would let her talk about that stuff. Uh, four speed from a 67 Chevy. It's just old antique stuff that a lot of people don't use. Uh, all the pedals are custom made. I made my own drive shafts out of spare parts that we had. So really just the price of U joints is really all I got in that. The frame's all boxed. So when it came to the rear, I had the bed bought with the truck, a uh, three inch chop, three and a half, three and three and a half inch chop. By the time you see it in person, I'll have the doors done. That's like the last one of the last things that I just need to stop and do, but it don't affect the way we drive it. So under the $5,000 budget, how do you do two rear axles under budget? And that's why I did two rear axles to show that you could do it. I took the leaf springs from some other projects that we scrapped and we had leaf springs laying around and I said, hey, I got four leaf springs, they're the same. I cut them behind the pin, which is a pain in the ass. I used coil springs from a Dodge Dually that I had taken out and I went and got another set from a guy, did some barter and got those. Track bars on all three axles. The rear are some joints I had laying around from truck pulling days. It was actually a fun build because we got to just use stuff that we had. Used just like a lot of this stuff. This is a broken tire chain. Um, an axe you can't use anymore. I mean, we didn't use high dollar 
antique stuff. All right, so underneath there, we got coil springs. We got shocks that we had laying around. The shocks on this truck, I actually took to three swap meets and couldn't sell them for $5 a piece. Remember, they were mm -hmm. red and white boot. They were white with red boots. Yeah. They're black. They're under there. I think they're for a Ford or something. Um, we had this laying around. This is pretty neat. We need to finish hooking it up. It's got a cable that goes inside, and this is an old turn signal before cars had them. This was something you would bolt on. The metal we had laying around from old buildings we've taken down and stuff. Some of this metal's been around this property since probably the 60s, obviously before that. Uh, I dug a ditch and a tree fell. I dug a ditch too close to a tree, and before it could regain its strength, a windstorm came in blew this walnut tree down. So that's what uh, most of the wood is, is walnut milled from a tree from our own property. My buddy Danny milled it for us for $20. Something like that. I bought him some beer. We got a little aggressive on the tires because we had them, didn't we? Yeah. They were on our green K30 Army truck, and they're boggers, and everybody's like, oh, those are $1,000 a piece. They're not. Um, anyone could get on Marketplace right now. I could go on Marketplace right now and buy four used boggers for 600 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever you want to do. Um, Part of the rules is tires don't go against budget. I've had a few people tell me that they do, that mine do. Uh, so we're going to include uh, whatever. I'm not arguing that. No. We're going to include that in, uh, ain't we? Yeah. So we'll show how all this opens up. So rear axle I got for free. I'm going to show the rest. All right. Front axle I got from a mower home that a lot of the other parts came from. Steering wheel was given to us by Mike Jones. Um, the belt was given to us by some people who stay here in the campground, Dan and Bree. But the, uh, there's the just a lot of different stuff came that came from, from different places. So the cowbell we had came from a farm, and it, it's real risky. And, and it was. And it is, and it, I think it was from Florida. Oh, wow. Man, that's a lucky cow. Yeah. Cow got to live in Florida? Where's that cow at now? Burger King? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll show you a daughter of five, okay, guys? Follow we're, me. We're working our way hey. around. Let's go. It's turn. Oh. Team effort. We <laughs> only have the other five. Yep. So, Slow down. We have a couple Banjo. And it says Banjo. Says Dick Banjo. It says Dick Banjo and stuff. And stuff. What else we got? We have this sign over here that... That even you can change it. You can change it. That's the 1.4 explosives now. What else we got? What we else got, you see? We got some plane horns right here. Yeah, plane horns. Plane ones. Plane uh, horns. Those are, <laughs> those are plane horns. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of plane blow its horn? What else we got? Look at this little one. Where'd this cow come from? A smaller cow. That looks like it's from Sweden. It's so fancy. It's, a, it's from Kentucky. That one's from Kentucky? Yes. That's oh, awesome. Started. Sorry, guys. It's still the same video, but here we have is the rusted whites. Rusted whites. Rusty whites. And we have this rope that came from also from Kentucky. Okay. Yeah. Good call. From a cowboy. Okay. And over here... This truck, what you think, came from Kentucky, from Florida. Oh. That's for cutting the hair off a of sheep. This thing we got right here. That came from California. But there are schools in California. And this came from a school in California. Nice. Okay. All right. All right, hold on a second. Good job. All right, so moving on to use what you got, team. The radiator is in the back, and it came from the square body we got the uh, motor from. So the, the, I know radiators in the back usually don't work because people usually put them up front in the dead zone. But we got it back here. Uh, Brady Hollinsworth gave us this tailgate for free. He said, I'm going to leave it out beside my house. Man, this should go in your truck. Good call on that, Brady. We appreciate that. The wood's a little tight. Come on! Swelled up from all that rain. <laughs> all right. 
So just a flip down gate, square tubing. We've included uh, we've included 2,000 pounds worth of steel into our budget. We'll get to that. So a lot of this is just stuff we had. They're big fans. Those fans are off like a mid-90s car. They're wired to relays. All right, we're back. All right, so well, there's a lot of people around here. We uh, was going over the radiator I used from the K20, and I did buy some hose, and I used some inch to quarter EMT and some clamps and stuff. So before I turn it over to you, let's throw down some numbers real quick. Yeah, definitely. So we went over the, we got 454 four speed, 221 transfer case. I paid $300 for those. We have a 10 bolt in the front. We have two Dana 70s in the rear. We have 33 inch tires, right? We have no high dollar items. We have $300 headers, uncoated. We have $300 clutch, so we can't be getting on it. All right, here's what we got. We paid $700 for the project initially. We paid $300 for a clutch, that's $1,000. $300 for headers, $200 for the front wheels and tires. We don't need to include those, but we're going to. That's $1,500. Transfer case and transmission is $300. So that's $1,000 and then $1,500, $1,800. I made money on the front axle, $200, so we're down to $1,600. We're going to put $500 for the motor. It's a stock 454. I got it for free. I feel like I'm being generous by even including it into my budget. I think $500 and then we're having a windshield made I I built the frame he's making the windshield $200 anyone that builds a rat rod should expect to spend some money on a windshield yeah that's probably a safety item but it's still something you have to pay for yeah there's a lot of gray area on these safety items a thousand dollars for steel and metal we pay 50 cents a pound most people pay more we got a better deal uh most people pay 60 we pay 50. there's probably two thousand pounds of metal in this so a thousand dollars front both rear axles were free i made my own drive shafts and then the decorations we had laying around, but some of it is some kind of neat stuff, some little chains. Bro a lot of it's broken stuff. Well, when I said decorations, I mean, like, I bought the furs, and I bought the canvas, and I bought the fabric to do the seat yeah, cushions. Yeah, it does and, take money to buy that stuff. You know, like, the, the things that it took to, like, create those things is what I was counting that for. So, with the with that being said, $300 for that kind of stuff, we're at $3,800, because that's a minus $200. we are at $3,800 right there. So, uh... You know, I bought the cheapest wiring harness off Amazon. I bought the cheapest key switch off Amazon. I bought the cheapest headlight switch off Amazon. I wired it myself. Did everything herself. I bought the cheapest front shocks. Like, we tried to use what we had. Yeah, around. yeah. So we're we're at thirty eight hundred uh, actual money that we spent. So those front Heim joints, two of those were a hundred. So thirty nine hundred. There are a few Heim joints in the steering. So let's bump that up to $4,100, $4, $4,100. The wood, the metal, screws and hardware bolts don't count. Um, door, bear claw latches. Uh, I mean, $4,200. And then I could buy these wheels and tires. I could get them for $800. So I feel total, we're, we're under budget. We didn't spend that. Right. We're being generous on that. Yeah. I didn't hardly spend nothing. Yeah, I'd say, honestly, if that we spent two thousand dollars i had the motor i had to maybe twenty five hundred maybe so he, even i put three hundred for the transmission transfer case and he came right back and bought an axle i had for three hundred gave me my money right back that's true so and uh i mean i just i, I feel like that's the spirit of the contest right just yeah try to build what you could build for for and be as can. detailed as possible as you can within that budget so and within a, the rules a rat rod or a motorcycle or something it's details and you keep looking you keep looking a lot of this stuff was free, man. Just screw a hook to something. People like that. Yeah. So uh, these things were like hanging our curtains on there. Yeah. Uh, a light I had laying around. And and we was able to build something that is cool in that budget. Yeah. This. Yeah. Look. 
Look at your son. <laughs> He's enjoying a lantern. Look at him. <laughs> What's he doing in there? Come out here in the middle and stand up because you won't be able to for much longer. Let's, let's see how tall you are. Look. Just perfectly tall. Stand up. Stand there you up go. straight. That's it. Just, yeah. just that tall. A few months, you won't be able to do that. <laughs> uh, this is my Kentucky head hunters that I got. <laughs> Jennifer lied to me, told me it's not real. <laughs> Uh, we got some risque pictures. Just let here. Let me record. Well, you can't even see in there. It's really dark. Right, let's open the out. All right, here we are with the other star. This is the other half of Peace and Grease. She does most of the filming. I have to look at my ugly self on TV. Um, so I did a lot of mechanical work, but man, when you look at it, uh, anything that's got the she made the wood match and everything. Let's her, let tell us what you got, babe. All right. So you told you about the walnut. So we had to make it look old and we used some wood stain and some black tractor paint to do that and weather those. All of this stuff is stuff that we've had around the house and collected, but we had to have a way to hold down our little windows here when we're driving. So we got some belts, which I'm going to unhook. I don't have, do we have a stick to hold it up? I'll, I'll use my hand if we don't. Well, you're filming. I usually stick it in that little hole, but the hole ain't there no more, is it? All right. I ain't messed with it since you put the weighted stuff on it. It's heavier. All right, now hey, lower it look down. Our, look at our, show our cowbell. Look how I have the cowbell. So She's got that perfect. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. <laughs> Usually we got a prop rod here. Yeah, so normally it would hold It's heavy rod. now. I know, and we'll have um, our t-shirts and stickers and stuff like that to hang here, and that gives us a little bit of light inside, which is what I was hoping for, and we don't have our stick. Nope, nope. Um, let me use my phone and maybe have a flashlight. Okay, these are the minor adjustments we're talking about. She's She's been doing this on her own, so we, we just got to make us a few prop rods. Keep going, babe. Prop rods. We need prop rods. So we did the same thing on the other side as far as the decorating goes. And all the trinkets, look what Tim did up there. I love that. Yeah, I bought that plane at a little... Uh, antique store and i broke the wheel so it looks like it's kind of like coming out from Crash. the inside out crashed Crash. ran through it. all of the paintwork i've never painted anything ever in my life so um everything that you see on here that is painted and lettered i did myself so it's not professional but i think it suits the bill i told her i said get down there and paint that truck look at it i think she did the other side's even better the because she got she got going right this so. is coming we'll have to check on i got it all right can see how to move. Awesome. Nice. So all this stuff just came from where we were laying around and Dick lives in the mountains so he does all this. Trapping furs, shoeing, all the stuff is what Dick does. Yeah. He's got his traps, he's got everything. On the inside it's still dark in here. Take this. Okay. It's not bad on here. Can you see all the stuff though? Is this light not? It's all right. I if I do this. Does that help? That Put the light in the corner facing that way where I can't see it. There you go. Is that good? Yeah. All right. So we've got, I ordered some of these rabbit furs. These are actual rabbit furs that we got off of Amazon. They were like $10 for two of them. So we put several of those in here. We've got old skeleton keys that were given us to us by Cody Kirby. Um, just every detail. I made this quilt out of jeans and flannels that people donated to us for us to camp with. All of our sleeping stuff, like our sleeping mats and pillows are in these blankets and they're all tied up with belts. We've got tobacco plugs, like actual tobacco plugs. Tim's showing you the X-rated I put in there. You guys are welcome. She painted the lights to match we had laying around. Yeah. That's more metal we had, more wood from the tree. Yeah, all of it. So it's just stuff. It's just so much detail. I'm filming you. I'm filming <laughs> you. What we do you think? We have a hammer right here. Mm -hmm. we do. Yeah, we bought that at Cave City, the hammer and the loop, because yep. we'll use that to drive our tent stakes. That's right. So we have a little space right here that we can fit. We'll put a picture of you up there. <laughs> then we can add a lot of fur all up here, so if we bunk our head, it won't hurt. Okay. Well, you got to stay low, baby. I don't like bunking my head. You got to stay low. <laughs> Room for rent. Not really. <laughs> I ain't seen the new light work yet. We'll have to I test know, that out. That'd be exciting. 
So this is where we'll be sleeping. We're, she we're she camping. made the curtains, found the little that's hooks. True. That's true. Um, they're little like gutter hooks or something. They're pretty neat. Yeah. They're little yeah. stuff, man. It's just trinkets. This is Everything this was fun. Everything has a detail. Everything has a, a purpose and a reason behind it. And Steve Williamson and his family gave us this old lantern from the railway. We made it look good, but it's also functional. Everything serves a purpose and it can all be transported. Like everything tied down. Nothing will fall. What if we? I forgot about this. What? Tennessee has bears. Oh, I know, but we're in wood. We'll be fine. Well, we're going to need a pistol. Shoot that bear to death. Well, I think we'll be fine. They can I just thought about that. We're going to sleep in this Friday night in Tennessee. I thought about it. We no. might get mauled. We'll be bear, fine. All our food will be in the That's, that's going to give us real credibility if we sleep in Tennessee outside. We are. Bears are, can scratch wood open. What do you mean? Then what? What would a bear then do? we'll be dead. <laughs> we'll be goners. Goners? <laughs> yeah. We could, we could add some steel right here. That's a good idea. Yeah. You think a bear would just tear that open? Yes. See? What, that crack? Yeah. You see coming through there with his claws? Yeah, it, it scratched so hard. What will happen to us? We'll be gone. <laughs> you, hear, you heard it here first, heard folks. It here first. We'll be goners. <laughs> yeah, so I can show you more around this okay yes guys? sir we're waiting on you then... y'all watch your head you're getting taller we got personalized plates yeah we had transmission down here yeah close pretty much pretty much yeah <laughs> that's the rear axles we got two of them most cars only got one right here yeah what else? That's good. You know what? You know your stuff already. We got yeah. spider web floor. Yeah. I had these tractor seats. I know I, I moved them around so many times. The other one's all smashed up. The other seat cushion's in the van. We got air ride on our seats. That's been seen a bunch. We got a pistol holding, holding our glove box shut. I forgot to tell you about that knife the other day when we got a flat tire. Yeah, the pistol holds the glove box. We got a mean glare. Sorry. Uh, cell phone holder because you don't want to lay it on the floor. Uh, there is a little sense of danger, but I feel it's pretty safe. We got another uh, rodeo belt covering the transfer case. I've drove it, and there's no heat or fumes that bother you. It just all escapes. It's all open. There's no way for anything it's like to... riding a motorcycle. It is. Basically. It's like riding a big block motorcycle. It's real light in the front. And uh, that's 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 about it. We're under budget. We're overbuilt, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, so I feel strong. How do you feel? I feel real strong. Um, so, by being overconfident, it tends to take away thunder from other people, and I don't want to do that. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, by saying that I'm, by saying that I'm overconfident is uh, just I did I did the best I could. So, um, without we gotta get we got we're just gonna be fine tuning it all the way there. We can't wait to see y'all. And uh, what else we got? Well, something we didn't talk about. Transmission you, motor. Thank you. Something else we didn't talk about that you guys don't see here is that we have a canvas canopy that when these come out, the canopy. Yeah, I got hooks up there. And the canvas comes out and it's like, you know, a little army. Base yeah, we canvas. have some poles that come out eight foot. We have a nice little canopy. Get out. Of the, it won't do much for rain, but it get us out of the sun. Right. We've tried to think of everything that we could to make it functional and it runs amazing and I think it looks amazing and I feel like we've covered every detail we possibly could. So I think we're in it to win it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just think the popularity of the camper and everything's it's all on our side. Yeah. And uh, it's been a big effort. Uh, it's been a lot of late nights, and I, I kept telling myself, I heard Corey Wheat say to have fun later, you got to suffer through it. I suffered through it. I've been, I've been, I, I put a lot, put a, we went too big kind of for what we was, but we wanted to maximize the budget. That's the whole thing. We wanted, we'd like to be at $4,999 if we could, but yeah. I think we did it, man. I, I think, know, I yeah. think we're there. I think it's rowdy. Uh, I had one guy that hated it. So, yeah. F, so F you, uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. If you hate if you hate a 35 Ford big block, four speed, four wheel drive, 
that a chick worked on, you're you're stupid, and I can't help you. That's I can't. We can't offer you any better content than this right here. If you don't like this, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> she shouldn't let me film because I, I I say oh too much. All right, our our next step. It's uh, Tuesday. Our next step is keep loading the tools and keep figuring things out. Right here's the trailer. We got a little we got a little yard going on. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna keep this thunder into the next projects. Ramp trucks already got a Cummins in it. Be cool to have this sitting up on the back of that. But I don't know. We got we got big ideas. This thing looks so good on a camera. It it's so amazing looking. But uh, that's a lot of rambling. I think we gave you a pretty good rundown. She's coil springs. She's leaf springs. She's got half leaf springs. I didn't spend no money. I used all I could. I used all the ingenuity I could use. I tried to spend money on safety. And uh, we got good tires. We had a freak accident the other day where a tire went flat, but we've got that resolved. And uh, that's about it, man. Yeah. I let it run for 30 minutes, and it'll sit there and idle. And we're going we're gonna to probably take it for some more drives maybe tomorrow. And we're going to stay at it. And we're we're doing this for you guys, too. Yeah. So. so we have my information right here. Like yeah. What else? Transmission looks like that. We haven't talked about this. No, we haven't. Focus. What yeah. is it? it? It's a bumper that in it, in it, in it's over a million, and it's over ten thousand years older than us. Yeah, that steel is, isn't it? Yes. Had to get that out of the ground and make it herself. Iron ore. So this bumper was made from the 1980s. Yeah, that's a long time ago, 10,000 years ago. The 1980s. That seems like a long time ago to you, don't it? Yeah. All we have is a broken one. A yeah, broken yeah, thanks for pointing that out. And it's still it, being worked on. And it came from here in the 1980s. All right, that's going to wrap it up for our Friday video. That's going to wrap it up for our Dick Banjo build. I can't believe I'm saying those words, but it's uh, true. The theme's been the devil's in the details, and we've been trying to hit him with as many details as we can. We're finish here to help us finish video. up. we got to get Sammy in here to finish her up. Yeah. Uh, we've got wild dogs out in the field. Yeah. He's wanting to go check them out. But uh, devil's in the details, man. We tried to hit them with the details. Uh, you know, the spider web floor didn't cost me hardly nothing. I just spent time doing it. Labor don't matter. Labor's not part of the rules. So we hope you all enjoyed it. everything so far. Yeah, it's been an adventure. And we are excited to see all the places that this takes us. We can't wait to be at the shows. And I'm excited to camp in it. I don't know if Tim is, but I'm actually, my little hippie heart is so excited to sleep in this and have a campfire and roast some marshmallows. And then I start thinking about <laughs> bears. I ain't worried about a bear. You're going to go to bed with marshmallow fingertips oh and get mauled, gosh. date mauled. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your support through this build and all the encouraging words. Psych. We appreciate Psych. you all so much. We wouldn't be where we are if we didn't have all of you following along and cheering us along and... We're going to keep the momentum going on the next build, and we're going to have something really cool for you guys yet again. So. I've always built a lot of stuff, but this is probably my lifetime build up, lifetime achievement build up till now. Uh, this is everything that I looked at in magazines. This is Ed Big Daddy Roth. This is Indian Larry. I didn't even know it, but this is Billy Lane. I didn't even know he was going to be involved. This is every biker show I ever watched. This is every street rider I ever read, every hot rider, everything that ever blew my What's mind when it came by. This is what I tried to put into this. We can subscribe and, and hit uh, that bell. There's cooler stuff, but I don't think I haven't seen it. No, no, I haven't seen it yet. But we're so excited to get to Rat Stock, and what you guys are going to see on Wednesday next week is uh, Rod Run. So you'll see Rod Run next week, and then the following week we'll be all caught up with you about what went on at Rat Stock. Rod Run's always big video. Yeah, we're excited. We, we got friends fun. down there. You, some of you might know. We'll see who's down there when we get there. We don't want to mention no names because they may not be there by the time I get there. Yeah, who knows? So uh, we'll catch up with you, and we'll show you all the colors and sights of uh, Tennessee. Okay. And, uh, man, it, it overwhelming support. I can't, I can't get over it, man. People who I've never met in my life support me till the end of the earth, and it's, it's uh, unbelievable. And... Uh, 
All we got to do is go up there and fucking win. And that's all we got to do. <laughs> that's all we want to do. We've, the fight's over. We just got to get it there and uh, kick their that's ass, it, man. So. If you're watching this and you're in it, I'm sorry. I'm going to kick, kick your ass and just build off that <laughs> first place trophy's money. Just play. I'm just telling you. All right. Well, if we, I don't win, it's fixed. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Rigged. We love and appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much Why for always watching. Get up here. Sammy says, go ahead. Like and subscribe and hit that bell button. Turn your notes on is what he's telling you. Yeah, Catch you guys on the next one.